Hey, what's happening guys? I thought today we'd do another Arduino for kids. And today's project is a party strobe light. So let's take a quick look at the hardware involved. Starting from the left, we have a 5K potentiometer. We have our LED. This is the uh, 10 watt LED we looked at in another video. We have a relay, an Arduino Nano, and a capacitor. So let's talk about how everything is connected with this handy dandy schematic that I've drawn up. Okay. So we are bringing in 9 volts to our VCC rail because our LED D1 right here requires 9 to 11 volts. So that's our VCC. We have a 470 microfarad capacitor going from VCC to ground. And that is just to uh, stabilize the power because when the LED is switched on, it's going to take a big bite. Next, we have our 5K potentiometer. One connection goes to VCC, the other goes to ground. The middle connection, the wiper, comes over here to our Arduino Nano and is connected to pin A0. The Nano is also connected to our VCC rail through the V in pin. And since we're giving it nine uh, volts here, it's very important that we connect it to the V in pin and not the five volt pin because the five volt pin bypasses the voltage regulator and would probably damage your Arduino. Now it is also connected to ground. Then we have a relay. This is a Songle uh, five volt relay. Actually it's good for uh, 250 volt AC, 30 volt DC. It only requires five volts to trigger it. It is connected to VCC and ground and the signal pin connects to the Arduino's Digital 5. Now, the normally open connection goes to the um, anode of our LED and the LED goes to ground. The um, common connection, whoops, I didn't draw that in. The common connection goes to ground. So this is our normally open, this is our normally closed, and this is our common. So there is everything and how it all goes together. And the operation of this is such that you can adjust the rate of flash with the potentiometer to match up to music or whatever you want. And coming in over here, the wiper pin is going to analog zero, which is going to read it. And it will output a square wave with the high pulse going to the signal pin of the relay, which will switch on our LED. Let's go take a look at the code. All right, so here is the code for the Arduino for Kids Party Strobe Light. First, we're going to do two defines. We're going to define our MOSFET as digital pin 5 and our POT on analog pin 0 and create a global integer variable called weight that we'll use for our delay. In our setup, we set pin 5 to output and pin 0 to input. Then we do our serial begin so that we can look at our variables and debug if necessary. And here's the loop. It's really easy. The loop begins by reading the analog 
value from the potentiometer and storing it in the integer value p read. Then we populate the variable weight with a map of p read with its minimum value of 0, its maximum value of 1023, to 100 and 2000. So that gives us a, a delay between 100 microseconds, which is a tenth of a second, to two seconds. This is our debugging section here where it just prints the stuff out to the serial monitor. And then we do digital write, MOSFET high. We wait for a tenth of a second, digital write, MOSFET low. And then we wait for the time that is determined in these two lines right here. And that's it. That's the whole program. All right, let's go play with it. We've got everything uploaded. And I've got some music to play here. This is some copyright free YouTube music. Getting going. Power up our system. And that's going pretty good. But just as a demonstration, we can turn it all the way up to our fastest speed, which will definitely blind you. And we can slow it way down to our slowest speed. So that is our party strobe light flasher. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Here is another look at the schematic. You can pause that and copy it down if you like. That's it. I'm out. Have a good one.